Don't forget, click the like and subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when all new content comes out. Click like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Hi there, reading buddies. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reading about Pete the Cat. Pete's school is having a big science fair, and he really wants to go. But he's never been a scientist before. He sure wants to try. I wonder what's going to happen. Why don't you read along with me, and we'll find out together, okay? Let's get started. Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair Written by Kimberly and James Dean Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Pete has never been a scientist before. Now he can try it out. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. Or grow a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome. The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientists like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hands. The cookies are warm and gooey. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. Pete and Gus mix the glue and water. Squirrel and Callie tear the newspapers into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Oh no! The paint in the brown bottle is blue! What are we going to do? asked Callie. They can't find brown paint anywhere. That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the lava so we know that the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano. Callie adds vinegar. Nothing happens at first. All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high-five each other. But... The lava is still coming out. Soon, it's a huge mess. Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, says Pete. At least, the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus. Don't worry, we have a secret ingredient, says Pete. 
at the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt, says Pete. The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. The scientists cheer the loudest. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete. But being on an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier. Well, reading buddies, did you like the story of Pete and the super cool science fair? I know I sure did, and I thought that blue volcano really was super cool. I sure hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget, join us next time. Click like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Bye, reading buddies. Uncle Emmett's story time was brought to you by www.ababy'sfirstshoes.com. Visit us on the web at www.ababy'sfirstshoes.com. Thank you.